What's good YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Josh, you can call me JD, and in this video I'm talking about one of the most incredible looking pairs of Converse that honestly I've ever seen. I have been hyped to pick these up for quite a while now. I will be reviewing the Fang Chen Wong Converse Chuck Taylors. What's good fam? So in this video, I will be breaking down the sneaker, talking about the design a little bit. We'll get into the brand itself, Feng Cheng Wang. Of course, we'll talk about sizing, how to style these, and as always, I will be giving you guys that on-feet look. So make sure you stick around until the end of the video. So these, these have been teased for a really long time. We first saw pictures of these way before the pandemic even. I believe it was like Shanghai Fashion Week where we first saw these. For those of you who don't know, Feng Chen Wang is a Chinese-born designer who is currently based out of London. She describes her fashion as future, modern, authentic, as well as multi-dimensional. And honestly, I couldn't pick four better words to describe this sneaker right here. Converse and Feng Chen Wang actually have a partnership. This is not the first time that they've collaborated on a sneaker. We've already seen the Jack Purcell collab, and that was one of the most futuristic looking shoes. They look like something out of a science fiction movie. And these are no different even on the converse website they are calling these the most disruptive chuck taylors that we've seen so far and before i even get into the shoes i gotta say i really am a big fan of converse's strategy when it comes to collaborating with brands i love how they've become the go-to sneaker brand when it comes to collaborating with up-and-coming fashion brands we've seen them collab with jw anderson also this year fear of god we've also seen the cold wall collab and now these, I really think when it comes to collabs this year, it's pretty much New Balance and Converse for me when it comes to the strongest collabs we've seen in 2020. But these, Feng Cheng Wang did her thing. In my opinion, this is my personal favorite Converse collab so far. These sneakers originally dropped in two colorways. There was also a white and black colorway, which actually has proven to be more popular. It is mainly sold out across most stores. I will leave links in the description for wherever those sneakers are still available. But out of the two, definitely this colorway. So this is the natural and persimmon orange colorway. By far my favorite out of the first two drops. Love the way these colors look together. It also reminds me of one of my favorite collabs, the Air Force One collab with cold walls. So they had the similar orange and white pair. On this pair, so underneath the orange layer, you can see it's pretty much a regular Chuck Taylor, just a natural white Chuck Taylor but then overlaid on top. So at the back, you have some canvas overlay. So it looks like there's pretty much two Chuck Taylors on top of each other. There's one panel on the left and right parts of the back of the shoe. And there is some space between the two panels for that logo. You get two pairs of laces with the shoe alongside the natural ivory laces. It also comes with these custom Feng Cheng Wang laces where you can see the print all along the laces. I will personally leave the plain laces on. There's already a lot going on on the shoe. The craziest part about this shoe is definitely the outsole. As you can see, there's two Converse outsoles here on top of each other, and the outer part is split into four sections. When you're walking in these, you don't really feel these four different sections. It feels like a regular pair of chucks. But this double outsole definitely makes this shoe really, really heavy. This is probably one of the heaviest shoes that I own. However, when you wear them on feet and you walk around in them, it doesn't really feel that heavy. So when I first saw pictures of this shoe, my one kind of major concern about buying a pair of these was I thought that maybe they looked a bit too bulky, but then I started to see pictures of people wearing these. One of my homies, Massimo, size 10 please on Instagram, he wore these as well. And I thought, you know what? They don't look bulky at all on feet, especially if you wear the right type of pants. So when it comes to styling these, I would definitely go with a wider fit pant. If you wear these with like skinny pants, skinny jeans, they're just gonna look very, very bulky. It's gonna start looking like clown shoes. But if you wear these with some wide fit pants, I would recommend some Carhartt simple pants or some Carhartt double knee pants. Even if you go with a pair of Levi's 569s or Levi's 501s, they're gonna look great. When it comes to sizing, so I had no idea how these would fit me when it comes to sizing because some recent Converse collabs like that cold wall pair, the sizing on that was really weird. It didn't fit me like other Chuck Taylors. 
but these I got them in my normal Chuck Taylor size so I personally go down a half size compared to other shoes I'm usually a size 11 I got these in a 10 and a half and they fit me perfectly and that is normally what I do for Chuck Taylors I always go a half size down however I know a lot of people tell me that they go a full size down so I would recommend whatever your normal Chuck Taylor sizes just go with the same in these very quickly if you guys haven't already done so make sure you are subscribed to the channel I'm dropping content at least three times a week and it really helps your boy out and it's free hit that subscribe button hit that like button it really helps out the channel if you guys didn't like any of the initial two colorways I'm pretty sure there's gonna be a lot more colorways dropping and not just more colorways I think there's gonna be more silhouettes as well if you go on the Feng Cheng Wang's uh, website you can see that there's also a low top sneaker in there also some other models of different Converse pairs so it looks like this is going to be a long-term partnership, maybe similar to what we've seen with JW Anderson. Final thoughts, are these a cop or a drop? So I wasn't kidding guys, in my opinion, this is perhaps my favorite pair of Converse, maybe even ever. I really love the way these turned out and I also love this colorway. I can't wait to rock these. If you guys want to see me rocking these, see some fit pics, definitely make sure you follow me on Instagram. The handle is right here. It is at JDKick6. So yeah, for me, 100% these are a cop and that's pretty much it thank you guys so much for messing with the channel and for watching this video the on feed portion of the video coming up right now until next time guys peace